So, hello everyone, Ubud, what do you think about this place? In my opinion, this place is very calm and quiet. Compared by Kuta and Changgu, this place has more peaceful vibes. This place also has rice fields, waterfall, and also ritual this place also has more romantic resort it is perfect for a couple to have a honeymoon or just a wedding party Ubud, well, it is located at Gianya Regency, the town of Ubud in the upland of Bali, Indonesia is known as the center of for traditional craft and dances. The surrounding Ubud district rainforest enters rice paddies, paddy, rick, dotted with Hindu temples and shrines are among Bali's most famous land landscapes. Ancient holy sites included are uh, include the intricately carved Goa Gajah. In English it literally means elephant's cave and Gunung Kawi. Well it's different with Gunung Kawi in Java with a rock cut shrine. The economy of Ubud is highly reliant on tourism which focus on shopping, resort, museum, yoga, and zoos, of course, to see some beautiful and cute monkeys. Hey, wonderful, they are so cute. What am I doing? There is a strong focus on sustainable economy, economy in regard to the retail industry in Ubud, with many well grown Brand, favoring materials and ingredients that would not cause much waste to, to the environment. From home and living amenities to tropical clothing brands, Uber has quite a unique array of retail selection that have proven attractive to tourists from around the world, or maybe outside the world like Mars, Uranus, Mercury. Okay, cut it up. Culture. This is the great thing about Ubud. The town and area has number of art museums such as Blanco Renaissance Museum. Well, he's Filipino, not Spanish. I thought that he is from Spain, from Madrid, but no, he's from Philippines. The Puri Lukisan Museum, Neca Art Museum and Agung Rai Museum of Art not Aderai, he's a bodybuilder well, different people, different guy the Museum Rudana in Pliatan is nearby galleries promoting local and overseas craft are bound to aduh, sorry sorry galleries promoting local and overseas craft are bound to in wood some of them hold exhibition focus on stimulating a dialogue between both local and international artists. And less about selling artwork, one of the primary example in Biasa Art Space, founded by art enthusiast and fashion designer Susana Perini. Well, this place also sometimes has interesting event called Joget Buboom. Well, you can find it here as well. <laughs> So we are here, Aksari Resort. This is a great place for a couple, especially for a honeymoon couple. This place also has a wedding couple. Maybe it's a great idea to have a wedding party here for a few people. And in this place, there was a relief about Ganesha. 
So Ganesha, also known as Ganapati and Vinayaka, is one of best known and most worshipped deities in a Hindu pantheon. His image is found throughout India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and yes, Indonesia, this place. Ganesha is son or children of Shiva and Parvati. Although Ganesha has many attributes, he is readily identified by his elephant head. It is a symbol of wisdom. An elephant-headed anthropomorphic figure on Indo-Greek coins from the 1st century BCE before Christ has been proposed by some scholars to be incipient Ganesha, while others have suggested Ganesha may have been emerging directly in India and Southeast Asia around 2nd century before I mean C based on evidence from archaeological excavation in Mathura and outside India. So how could he end up with elephant head? So it says the story says when Parvati I mean Parvati killed her own son and she feel regret oh and she found an elephant so she chopped elephant head and connect it with her son's head and finally there we go he has elephant head so why Parvati chopped her own son's head it is said that Ganesha's father that I said before it's Shiva you got jealous and he thinks that Ganesha is not his son and Parvati chops Ganesha's head but they realize that Ganesha is their biological son so they feel regret and find an elephant and connect it yeah as I said before anyway this place is very amazing it has pool in it Well, that was an interesting story. Now I need to go back to my bedroom to take shower and have some dinner. Today it is raining, but this place looks still looks amazing, even though it's raining. Oh, look at this place. Oh, it's so romantic. Now. I need to have some dinner with my family. Japanese barbecue. Itadakimasu! Mm. Oh. That was great dinner. Now I need to take a rest. See you tomorrow. Ugh, morning! Oh, now I'm going to jump one rich walk to have some walking. Oh, what a great coffee! Let's drink this coffee. Oh, yes! Alright, after taking praying, now I'm going to jump on Rich Walk. My watch says it is 4.30 in the morning. Well, it's Western Indonesian time, so in Bali it might be 5.30 a.m. My old man, I mean my, my dad, he is driving and he's sitting as a passenger. Alright, there we go. Seems like we are late, <laughs> so we can't see the sunrise. There's yeah, so no problem. Now, time to take my bag, my backpack. Oh right, there you go. Feels like I'm an idiot with a trekking pole. Seems like I'm going to hiking <laughs> instead of just walking.
Oops, this place is a little bit quiet. Oh, there you go, Town Plan Pitch Walk. Oh yeah, the reason why I visit this place is because I watch this YouTube channel and he shows me Town Plan Pitch Walk. It's looks amazing and uh, amazing yes oh it has bridge oh there's something said in the sign let's read it these leaves look so natural oh yeah there you go Dilarang berbuat asusil out means don't do any shameful things like having sex in the public. No drugs, uh, no crush, especially the plastic. No smoking. Alright, now let's take a walk. Well, in this place, you people can do just walking. Joking, sprinting, race walk, and even yoga. So, I'm walking in the morning. Walking is also exercise. There are some advantages of exercising in the morning. Here are fuel distraction, beat the heat. Well, it is not so true here in Ubud. It's very cool and cool the f healthy food choice also increase alertness you know a morning work that may be better match for your body's hormonal rotation cholesterol is a hormone that keeps you awake and alert it is often called the stress hormone but it only causes problems when there are too much or too little of it more overall energy. Regular exercise is excellent for boosting energy and reducing fatigue. Fatigue, yes. When you work out, oxygen and nutrient travel to your heart and lungs. This improves your cardiovascular system endurance and overall stamina. Better focus. Physical activity also improves focus and concentration, regardless of when you do it. But if you have trouble focusing, focusing, focus, fuck, 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 focusing during the day, morning workout might be just a ticket. But a mood, physical activity is neutral remedy for stress. During exercise, your brain makes more endorphin and feels so good, so great. Behind runners high. Support weight loss. Weight loss. Body work may be best for losing weight. According to a small 2015 study published in eBioMedicine, appetite control. In general, exercise has regulated your appetite by reducing ghrelin. Ghrelin. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. And there's many, many more exercise. I mean, advantage of exercising in the morning. You can also taking a race walking if you are too lazy to running. So what is race walking? So it's some kind of running, but it's different from running. The different, I mean, the different between race walking and running is, and that one foot must be appear to be in contact with the ground at all time. This place also looks so oh, amazing. Well, this is my last video. I mean, last video in Bali. Maybe I'm going back to West Java. And see you.